American artist John Outerbridge was born and raised in rural North Carolina and began college there. To qualify for the GI Bill, he enlisted in the Army and spent three years in Germany. He continued his education in art schools in Chicago, then moved to Los Angeles in 1963. This sculpture is called Two Faces. It is made of wood, metal, plastic, and paint, and was created about 1970. Outer Bridges' palette arguably originates with the occupation of his father, an orphan who transformed himself into an independent mover and junk dealer. Growing up working with his father, Outer Bridge learned to find beauty in discarded objects, which turned out to be the perfect training ground for his future as a practitioner of assemblage. Two Faces incorporates the experiences of the artist's childhood, his training, and his practice of his craft by confronting us with a mysterious symbolism. Its three-dimensionality inhabits a territory somewhere between painting and sculpture, between collage and assemblage. With its painterly distressed wood background juxtaposed against the finished furniture fragment in the foreground, and supporting faces fashioned from miscellaneous bits. Two faces evokes the feel of African ritual masks. The pairing of these mask-like forms, utilizing meticulous methods of construction and employing an amalgam of painted wood, metal, and plastic is the conjoining of mystery and spirit. This artwork is part of the Nora Eccles Harrison Museum of Art's collection of art objects and is included in the exhibition African American Art, Social Justice and Identity. You can take a digital tour of this exhibition and explore other artworks in NEMA's collection on our website, artmuseum.usu.edu.